just about set to begin. Pat Pulsifer doing his usual cheerleading routine at about the 25-yard line. Now he'll get ready to kick. Excellent crowd. to receive the kickoff, Jason Cooper, number 83, and Mark Atuaya, both standing at their goal line. We're underway. Pulsifer's kick is away. They both want it, but it ends up in the hands of Cooper. Cooper wrapped up just shy of the 20. From the southwest, and it's going to be a bit of a problem looking back into it for the team that has the ball that is going to the north. There's the numbers on John Walsh. Over 3,000 yards passing this year. Number two in the whack in total offense. And our first play from Skimmage. And they'll keep it on the ground with Jamal Willis. And Willis will pick up a few. Offensive line, Eli Herring, over 300 pounds. Quick pass outside to Doman. And Doman almost got away from the tackle, but you know who's there. Number four, Kareem Leary. Down in three. Walsh to throw, gets it out to Hay Mooley. Hay Mooley wrapped up, but he gets away and he'll have the first down. Still on his feet, he's tough to bring down. Finally dropped by some bumps and bruises. First and 10 for the Cougars. And it will be slipping to the ground. It's Mike Johnston in motion for the Cougars. Walsh back to throw again, he's looking out for Intercepted. Lust. Harold Lust comes up. Couldn't squeeze it, you'll get a look at it here again. Walsh looking left, then comes back over the middle, right through there, and Lusk with a pick right off the top of his shoes. You know, last year, Utah jumped to that 14-3 lead off of uh, turnovers. He's going to throw to set up the run. Here's the first throw. It's complete, just shy of the 20-yard line. The knee was down, though. Sony's largest automobile dealer. McCoy looking to the air again. There's a flag down. The pass is completed for a three-yard pickup. Penalty is declined, followed by personal foul, late hit out of bounds against the defense, half the distance to the eight-yard line, first down. McCoy with daylight, as daylight. He could get in close. He stopped at the three-yard line. McCoy had room to run. McCoy with Brown behind him, Charlie Brown. Charlie Brown is wrapped up. At least five Cougars in on that. Blitz coming after McCoy. He got it away into the end Almost zone. intercepted, but it's incomplete, so the Utes will have to settle for a field goal. A 20-yard field goal attempt for Dan Pulsifer. And he got it. The Utes are on the scoreboard. Kickoff sponsored by Ken Garf, where they back up every car they sell, and the Utes, too. And it's Cooper again. Cooper hit at the 15-yard line and dropped. Coach McBride has said that all week. we got to just get back to tackling. And right now, we're looking for Jamal Wilson. He's wrapped up by Kafusi. Jeff Kafusi. Must make it second and 12 for Walsh. Walsh to the air. Pass is complete to Hay Mooley. He is one of their leading receivers coming out of the backfield. And Hay Mooley dances up to the 24-yard line before... Cougars drop out of the blitz. McCoy. He's got room if somebody could breaks. almost run for it. He got it. McCoy gets the first down on his own. Randy Brock finally there, but his shotgun to avoid the blitz. The Cougars drop out of it. McCoy's pass out complete to his big tight end, Rick Tucker. Here comes the blitz. It's coming. Pass is complete. It's Curtis Marsh. Marsh may it's go all race. the way it's if he can hurry. Race. He's got it. Touchdown, Utah. Tomorrow, Jason Cooper will once again his third kickoff return of this game. And Cooper nailed at the 10-yard line. Toby Richard. Rush to the air. Going deep. Going deep. Oh, a great catch, but it was out of bounds. Dolman. Higher and a little further out front. And this one goes a lot further, but great position by Boyd. The 1995 lineup with your local 
for Dealer today. It's third down and eight. They need to get just past the 20-yard line. Walsh is in trouble. Gets it out of trouble and completes the pass. Cougars have a first down. And there's the versatility of Jamal Willis. See Hurricanes. BYU opportunity was perfect for him. Second Drop play. Hey, Mooley. And Hey, Mooley has the catch before he's run out of bounds by Mark Rexford. So, Blue Cross and Blue Shield, the company of choice. Third down three. Tied in. Chad Lewis has the first down right over the middle. There's your draw play. Nothing doing. Bronzel Miller is there to collide with Hema Hey Mooley. Right here, he needs 13 yards out of the shotgun. Straight for me and rush. Walsh has plenty of Tip. time. Pass was tipped. It was intended for Tim Nowatsky. Nice punt this time. And Marsh fields it at the 10. No help. No help at all. There were five Cougars. That could down an eight. McCoy to throw. Needs to get rid of it. Throws the ball over to the sideline. It is caught by the big tight end. John. Straight for me and rush. And pass intended for Marsh, but Mike Ulufali got the big hands up. Mike Johnston at his 40. And wrapped up after a 43 year. So it's a first and 10 for the Cougars, and the pass is complete. The ball was fumbled. Ernest Boyd tried to pick it up, but it's out of bounds. Walsh to the air again. Good protection. Going to fire it out the line. And a big hit. That was Mark Atuaya, the receiver. Walsh again. That middle seems to be open. Nowatsky on the reception. And Harold Luck. And that should be the end of the first quarter. And it is. So the Utes take a ton, 10 nothing lead after one quarter, but the point on the field where they like to run the draw play to Hay Mooley. Walsh will roll out though. He's got his tight end short right there. Mealy. Uh, Mealy down to the eight yard line. Willis and Jamal hops down to the four yard line. BYU trailing 10 0. Walsh, though, will go to the air. And just beyond, well, actually, the pass was well in front of him for six points. He's looking for him. Now goes Walsh. Sack Ernest Boyd. Points. And Lauder is perfect. So BYU gets on the scoreboard. Draw play. Charlie. Nope. For the Cougars. Huge turnover. They've got the ball all the way down at the 18-yard line. It's number 46 who goes in and strips the ball away. Shades Muirbrook changing the play now. Pass is complete to Nowatsky. Going for the end zone, and he's dragged down. Coverage. Walsh is going to be forced out of bounds. Nate Kia. Walsh again to the air. Touchdown, Cougars. Tight end. Consecutive games with a touchdown pass, and he is even the score. Brown comes up out of the tailback position. They back out of the blitz. McCoy going to be sacked. Wrapped up. McCoy goes down. It's Randy Brock. Hearts to go on this play. Third down. They're going to run a draw. Get nothing. Oh, man. It's John Ross. When they beat Utah BYU in 1988. Fumble. Utes got it. Nope. Well, the Utes had it, but it looks like Johnston got it back. Yeah. Utes showing some blitz and Walsh to the air again. The Cougars haven't had much success on the ground, so they go to the air. Doman, touchdown Cougars. The lefty, David Lauder, gets the kick away, fielded by Cal Beck in his five-yard line. Here comes Cal and Beck. 
a shoestring tackle at the 30-yard line. But Marsh on the other side, Tucker on the far side, and he selects Cougars and the Utes. And Charlie, the Utes Brown. Charlie Brown has a hole, and Brown into the secondary. Finally tackled the 30-yard line of BYU. Hamilton in the backfield. McCoy, he's going, looking for Marsh, but he'll run. just keep it. McCoy has room, and he'll slide down. They'll spot that at the night. There's the pass outside to Hamilton, and he is open out there. He'll pick up. Hamilton again. But he is wrapped up before the game, and he was tapping his foot right about at that spot to make sure the ground was solid. And it's good enough. Well, BYU has scored on their last three possessions. Touchdown, touchdown, and field goal. And all that in the second quarter. Here they come again. Walsh, the pass complete to Doman. Doman. Second and seven. Walsh to the air again over the middle the big tight end and that has been open all day long this time it's Mealy have been in the air today for the Cougars as you saw that last graphic Walsh again to throw in a little bit of trouble in a lot of trouble okay. and Henry Kafusi takes him down but credit the other youth lineman there's the punt by Alan Boardman Marsh at the 25 and he won't get much just a couple first and ten Utes take over and they'll put it on the ground with Charlie Brown Charlie dancing around inside that hole picks up good yardage finally dragged down Jack the beauty has to Brown again and Quick Charlie hitter. finds room on the right side again and again first half Utes trailing by four boy looking to go up top and he's going for Brown Brown's got it and he dropped the ball like Cougars dropped out of the blitz McCoy going across the middle and he's got Kevin Dyson, and Dyson, the freshman, still up, finally knocked him down at the 31-yard line. Marsh and Claiborne, the receivers to the left, Charlie Brown behind him, and McCoy is looking for the corner. He's got Marsh, and Marsh has the ball. They're going to keep the clock moving, though. Going to the corner, Deron Claiborne, touchdown, Utah. Looks like he is content to just put the knee down and go into the locker room. He's going to let it run out. So the first half will come to a close with the Utes having gotten the lead back after losing it. Next and 10 for Mike McCoy at the 20-yard line. And it's Charlie Brown. And Charlie Brown finds daylight right up the middle, still on his feet. And a fine run for Charlie Brown. The running game is a key today. Three wide receivers. A lot of weapons for Mike McCoy as he drops back to throw. He's got time. He's got to throw it. He had some time, but you can't stand back there right through the hands of his yeah. receiver. I think it's pretty even, really. Well, right now, Mike McCoy needs 11 yards, and we talked about how crucial this first drive of the third quarter is. And keep it going. They've got to deliver here. Four receivers and Charlie Brown behind McCoy. Steps up, has a receiver, but it's going to be about a yard shy. It's Kevin Dyson. Oh, and that one went off. He missed that one badly. That should be about yeah. an eight-yard eight, eight yard play. And here comes John Walsh, and they'll keep it on the ground. And a fine running play by Jamal Willis, and you have it for Hey, Mooley. Hey, Mooley with plenty of room. He's got the first down and about eight more. He's from 1983 to 86, a couple years in the NFL. There goes Jamal Willis again. Willis, three straight one running plays over the right side of that. Good little running back. Walsh to throw this time. His tight end's wide open. He misses him and goes to the other tight end. Two tight ends on this set. And Garrett just knocked over by Atula Mealy, who picks up a couple more, but everything. First and 10, here comes the blitz, it's picked up. Quick pass outside to Atuaya, he picks up a few more. And half yards from the end zone, trailing 20 to 17, BYU trying to regain the lead. John Walsh changing up the play. Huge showing blitz. 
it's picked up. Walsh has nowhere to go. Though. Finally throws it into the end zone. Touchdown, Cougars. McCoy is running, keeping it. And he gets the first down and today, checking out the teams and uh, maybe even the refs. Charlie Brown goes around the left side. And Brown, good yardage, six yards for a first down. Charlie Brown moves out of flanker at the bottom of the screen. Pass is complete at the midfield. Deron Claiborne has the first down. He'll get about a use of game for the Utes. McCoy again, a short pass over the middle. There's a flag down. Contact with the man for five yards, but you cannot hold it. You can't. They're showing blitz. Charlie Brown steps up. It's a straight, it is a blitz. McCoy goes down, and the Cougars have held again. Making the sack for the Cougars. 11, live ball, live ball. He hadn't hit one yet either. No, this one's well short. The real McCoy against John Walsh. Right now, John Walsh has his offense back on the field as McCoy and the Utes have not been able to get this offense going here. Look at the rushing. Fumble. Fumble. It's picked up by the big lineman, Jim Edwards. The center, Jim Edwards. Found it. The exchange was never made. But you know, you know what this guy's thinking right now? He's loving this. Look at that. He is loving it. <laughs> he gets to play running back. Yardage to the center, Jim Edwards. Second and nine, Walsh to the air. They've had great success here. But this time, Ernest Boyd is there to make the... They are. They'll never get there. Another great Cougar bounce. Boardman's done this a couple times today. Straight rush. McCoy's pass is complete to Hamilton. Will he have the first? Yes. First and ten, Utes keep the drive alive. And now they keep it on the ground. Charlie Brown picks up five quick ones. Second down five. Straight McCoy drop. In the air. Nowhere to go. Down goes Mike McCoy. Mike Ulafali with the sack. And covering at 13 yards back. Pressure. Charlie, Charlie Brown. Brown. Got a lot of work to do. He won't make it. Not even close. Ten yard Post line. The nine. Against the offense. Charlie Brown, the Utes keep it on the ground. Charlie does as much as he can. He gets 11 yards. In front of you people, I want to win it. Walsh looking to throw. He's Receivers are well covered. Luther was right there, ran into his own man, but dumps it off to Mealy. And what great ad-libbing on the part of Walsh. Walsh. Pressure. Walsh is caught from behind and finally dragged down. It's going to be the end of the quarter. So when we come back, the final period in the rivalry. BYU leads it by four. And the Utes up to the line. Fires the pass, broken up by Kareem Leary. Leary will come around, and the ball will hit him right in the helmet. Right there. It does hit him right in the hat. They still almost got there. Marsh takes it at 20. McCoy's got two tight ends and two wide receivers along with Charlie Brown looking to go up top. Fires to a wide open Curtis Marsh at midfield, and Marsh will get all the way down. He's changed the play, too. Blitz is coming. Got his man. It's Jamil Williams, and Williams has a first down. That's his first reception. Boy looking to go up top again, dumps this one off. Turn the corner. And Brown does get around the corner. Jack DeMooney, 88 yards from Charlie so far. Give him a few more right there. Charlie Brown runs into Stan Ross. And two. Oh, oh. Terrible. Ball on the ball. The boy got it back, I think. What a disastrous play. That's into the end zone. Oh, you 
Saints might go down if they do. Look at that. At the one foot line. Well, they'll put it at the one. Gets away again. Dumps it off, but they'll be well short. And the Utah defense is Boardman. A line drive kick. Utah have great field position. Curtis Marsh. Still up. And Marsh gets down inside the 20-yard line. Dead ball, personal foul, BYU. Stacked up. But not before the Utes. I should say second and goal. Charlie Brown. And Brown gets down close to score here because they cannot get a first down. Right, they shift into the Anaheim. No, they don't shift into nope. the Anaheim. It looked like it was headed that way, but they've spread it out. They just shifted people both ways, made the Cougars shift their defense totally. McCoy to throw. It's going to be a touchdown to Duran Claiborne. Trailing now 27 24. Walsh back to pass. Batted down. And it's batted at the white scoops have shut down that running game. And now John Walsh trying to rally his troops. He's going to have to run hard and get popped. Oh, what a collision. Walsh really wanted that first down. I think I'd have, uh, I'll be honest with you, I'd have slid. First and 10. Drop hey, leg. Mooley. Gets past one, Ute Rexford. Walsh to throw again. Plenty of time, has all kinds of time, and gets it to Hay Mooley. There's another Cougar first down, and Hay Mooley is apparently with a tender ankle, has not played much in this game. Draw play to Ottawa. Good running for Ottawa, and he'll be within about a yard of another first down. Gives off to Hay Mooley, trying to get around the corner, and he will. Hay Mooley gets a couple. Pita is in. Second and eight. Lost to the air again. Has a receiver, and Atuaya Kirkman is right there. They'll keep the clock running. And Charlie Brown. Walsh. Good protection. Fires down towards the end zone. Touchdown. Or did they give it to him? Signal it yet. I haven't either. I've seen no I have not signal. seen a ref signal it yet. I haven't either. I have not seen a sign that indicates touchdown at all. BYU celebrating. Well, it must it's gotta be a touchdown. I don't see any it must ref be, but that's amazing. Cougars by four, which means the Utes must get a touchdown if they want to win this game. We'll be back. Don't go. Pick is away. It's returnable. Cal Beck at his one-yard line. Great block. Holy cow. And Beck still on his feet. Gets terrific yardage. Beck still up. Oh, my goodness. Struggling. Beck, if he had been able to keep his feet, might have gone all the way. But what a great return for Cal Beck, the freshman. This game, they trail by four, but they're in BYU territory. Draw play to Charlie Brown. And Charlie, great yardage all the way down to the 20. Just like Straight last year, rush. McCoy to throw. He's dumps it off to Charlie Brown, who has a lot of room. Charlie Brown. He's going to go. Touchdown, Utah. He's in. game and I think it's a really an easy choice here Neil with Charlie Brown watch number 23 do the work on this one it's a good job by McCoy but watch this play beat the cornerback and then just power it through a tackle and into the end zone out there <laughs> it's just amazing the last the last three four minutes of this game just amazing Dan Pulsifer's kick is away it'll be returned that's Jason Cooper and Cooper finds some room, and he's all the way up to the 28-yard line, and a flag is down. No, nope. illegal block in the back. The cover is in the middle. John Walsh from the shotgun. Going to the air, and he'll go to Atuaya. He'll pick up about five before he is knocked. Creation, second down and four. 44 seconds to go. 
John Walsh and the Cougars trying to get back into this. There's Atuaye again right over the middle, and he'll be stopped there, but the clock is moving. We approach <laughs> Walsh again. Pass is batted. Almost intercepted by Garrett, but that was his position for three years here. Walsh again. Fires down and just beyond the outstretched fingertips. Need to get the ball in field goal range if they want to tie. Or 70-some yards for a touchdown. But the Ute defense getting in the way. Pass is complete. And they'll mark that. A big pickup for the Cougars all the way down to the 34-yard line with 17 seconds left. And it was Hay Mooley. Oh, able to get it down the sideline. Good protection. Watch this. It's right on the nose. Hey Mooley gets behind Ernest Boyd. Where is Walsh going to throw it? To the outside, down the middle. Walsh looking. Down the middle. Walsh is going to be sacked. Fumble. Scooped up by the Utes. That is going to be it. Bronzel Miller with and the sack. And Luther Ellis. And Luther. A fitting finish. Get, the, get off the field. It isn't over yet, but a celebration that is well-deserved. There are yellow flags all over, and it doesn't take much to figure out why. Well, you can penalize the youths all you want right now. because all they need Mike McCoy to put the knee down. Watch yourself, Rick. And the clock will run out. It's, uh, and look at this. The Cougar defensive line, the youth offensive line, just stand up and shake hands. Deja vu all over again, folks. 34 to 31. Here go the goalposts. Look at this. They burned them. 